people, the crypto self custody wallets that we are using might be in trouble. Two more have exited the space and they're being scared off. Yes, people, they're being scared off. Both Phoenix and Sub Wasabi have exited the US market amid self custody wallet crackdown. And of course, it's because of the regulatory action against both Consensus and Samurai. If you don't remember Samurai, a couple of days ago, um, they were arrested and charged with money laundering. And it says here, prosecutors are alleging Samurai Wallet laundered over $100 million in criminal proceeds. So they're using this money laundering to charge wallets. Federal prosecutors charged Samurai Wallet founders Keonan Rodriguez and William Lo not Lonergan. Hill with conspiracy to commit money laundering on Wednesday as the U.S. government continues its approach of prosecuting crypto mixing tools that may be used to by illicit actors and foreign governments to hide fund transfers. Now, I'm not exactly sure how Samurai actually did mixing because I don't really, I didn't really like use Samurai Wallet. Uh, but according to a press release issued Wednesday, the pair developed, marketed, and operated the mixer which facilitated more than $100 million in money laundering transactions from illegal dark webs. Now, I'm not really sure how many other wallets actually have this mixer, but um, they charge Samurai, and it looks like Phoenix and Wasabi have exited because they are afraid they might be targeted next. Even if they don't have a mixer, they're afraid the feds will find some way to charge them. And hopefully, other wallets don't follow because... If they shut off their services, these are non-custodial wallets, like if they shut off their services to the United States, we won't have that many places to store our crypto. I'm pretty sure people will still use VPNs to access them, but they might actually get uptight about that. Now, I'm not really sure if they're going to really go after browser extensions and other stuff, but they're targeting wallets, obviously, so people don't really have any choice except to keep their crypto on like an exchange like Coinbase or another U.S. held exchange so they can control it. It's all about control for Uncle Sam because they don't want you to getting away with money laundering or tax evasion. So they want to take away your options for holding cryptos. Both ACINQ and ZK Snacks raise concerns about whether self-custodial wallet providers can be seen as legitimate money service businesses. So Samurai's um, situation might be kind of peculiar because they had money, they had like a mixer in there, but these... Uh, wallets that don't have mixers are definitely being scared off and um, you know like the US government's trying to force these wallets to do KYC AML which is pretty much impossible and they're trying to shut down everything that doesn't do KYC AML there's going to be a lot of lawsuits raised about this and I'm not really sure which side of the lawsuits going to win in light of recent announcements by U.S. authorities, ZK Snacks is now strictly prohibiting U.S. users from using its services, ZK Snacks wrote on an April 27th statement. Obviously, they don't want to be charged with like, you know, $100 million. Um, so I'm not really sure how many other self-custody wallets will actually follow in their footsteps. ANCIQ has given Phoenix Wallet users until May 2nd to adjust the upcoming changes while the new policy at Wasabi Wallet has implemented effective immediately. So if you have money in those wallets or you're from the US, you might want to move them out. So Phoenix Wallet, on May 3rd, Phoenix Wallet will, remo will be removed from US app stores. Users from the US should empty their wallet. Settings, close channels, Android. Settings, drain wallet, iOS. We highly recommend not force closing channels as on-chain fees could be significant. So like recently, world regulators worldwide, not just in the United States, but I'm sure the US is leading the charge, have urged that self -cust argue that self-custody wallets may assist in facilitating illicit activities such as money laundering, but just because they may doesn't mean they will. And I think they're taking it a step too far. On April 25th, Cointelegraph reported that Consensus received a Wells notice from the SEC warning of potential enforcement actions related to its MetaMask swaps and MetaMask staking projects. Now, if you get rid of all the staking and swaps within wallets, that will take away a lot of the utility of the wallet. The wallet where you can just keep your coins, uh, but you can't swap might be okay. But a lot of people do want wallets where you can actually swap. But swapping isn't really mixing. So I'm not really sure where that connection is. Meanwhile, just a day earlier, uh, Cointelegraph reported that co-founders of crypto mixer Samurai Wallet were arrested on charges of money laundering bought by US, DOJ, and other char uh, charges. But they do have a mixer in that wallet. Now, if they're considering swaps mixers, then everyone could be in a lot of trouble. I don't really know if they're doing that. I'm not really sure how these actions are going to go and if they're going to win the lawsuits. 
but it does look like they are trying to force people into exchanges where they can see the money very clearly and you know like take actions as necessary so they are trying to nip it in the bud for people to self custody their wallets because they can't completely track those transactions or it's too much work for them to actually track those transactions once it's actually been done However, crypto exchanges must perform due diligence, such as identity verification checks on users who carry out businesses transactions of at least 1,000 euros. So essentially, they want KYC on everything. Hopefully, this does get overturned in the courts. Uh, groups like the ACLU and others, they're arguing that, you know, it infringes on people's right to privacy, First Amendment, all that. Well, not First Amendment, but like infringes on the Constitution and some of the other stuff. This is going to be a huge, huge legal battle. And it might actually affect which wallets or applications that we can use. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.